everyone, it is bubble tea day. Got my usual a chat time. Strawberry matcha latte, so good. Just got back from square one. I'm exhausted. Celine pointed out that I say anyways a lot, so now when I say it, it just sticks out like a sore thumb and it bothers me so much. Anyways, bought some stuff off of Sephora. Then I got the Estee Lauder double wear foundation with the wedding coming up. <laughs> next year hopefully i've decided that i'm going to do my own makeup and that you know what i have a year to practice i can do it so looked up a bunch of like reviews for long wearing foundation and i heard that the sa lauder double wear is really good i got fawn but i tried it out once in the wrong color and it was like fine like my skin really did look flawless but you could tell you're wearing makeup but i'm so used to seeing my face unflawless that when i do see it flawless it throws me off and i ended up getting this little eyeshadow trio from kaja the beauty bento very cute packaging this little trio is perfect for me i saw a video and they mentioned this hair oil and ever since then i've been very intrigued so i saw this in line the little mini of it jisoo gizu Jisoo honey infused hair oil and the lady hooked me up with some samples watermelon burst hydrating primer that looks cool and then some drunk elephant stuff went to the face shop i love the face shop they're always so nice and two i don't know if i started listing but i guess i'm listing two they give you a ton of samples it was like 40 off of the dr belmier's line which is pretty good actually just yesterday we ran out of this one the sika the dr B belmir sika emulsion um and then i got the sika toner and a bunch of different like oil blotting sheets whatever puff whatever no strips whatever samples got some cleansing tissues is this for the face or the butt sample some belief and then she hooked me up with like a bunch of these Little sampler stuff, Sika, the Dr. Belmere line, more of that. That's my little mini haul. I guess my Black Friday haul, because this was a Black Friday promotion. So I guess I'm like a like a beauty YouTuber now. I don't know. <laughs> Morning everyone. Those pants. Don't show that. <laughs> Yesterday we went to Toronto. We saw another wedding venue. Really nice. <sighs> But it is expensive. It's definitely our vibe. One we're going to today, we have another one we're going to tomorrow, and then another one on Tuesday. And then there's another venue that I really want. She hasn't gone back to me with like setting up a wedding consultation date, so that's kind of upsetting. So I'm kind of waiting on her. Yeah, the one that we went to yesterday, should I say it? Okay, the one we went to yesterday was Steam Whistle. If you're familiar with Steam Whistle, it's right by the Rogers Center. It's that old locomotive that they turned into a brewery. Attended a wedding there, be literally right before COVID, and we loved it. We loved the vibe. We've done like tours at Steam Whistle, and we really liked it as well too. And the lady that was like showing us around, she was really nice too. She gave like at the end, she's like, "Do you guys drink beer?" And then she gave us two free cans of beer. And then after that, she asked like what we're gonna be doing later. And Salim's like, oh, I think we're gonna check out the bar like in Steam Whistle. Like, okay. And then she took us to the restaurant and she was able to get us a seat, which was awesome. Happy anniversary. Damn it. Happy anniversary. Beat you to it. I know. Love you, babe. But yeah, we're going to another one today. This one is not in Toronto, it's actually in Niagara on the lake. It looks like they're opening skating rinks. Like this is the first weekend. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Last year we had to book appointments and we couldn't get any fucking appointment. I think we only went skating like once or twice. We actually drive around with our skates in the trunk just in case <laughs> there's an emergency um, skate session. And that's mine. <laughs> Interesting. Our breakfast is little slim. Saturdays are kind of like that because that's like when we don't have any more groceries we need to do groceries we're like pulling out the our breakfast food and Salim pulls it out he's like okay we only have one hash brown and we go to the fridge we only have one egg so we, we're splitting an egg and a hash brown 
Okay, Ken, right. say your speech. Okay, okay, to this great party that uh, Priya Dennis held, and of course, it's getting absolutely wasted. All right. Oh. Yeah. Starting off Sunday's vlog a little very late actually pretty hungover <sighs> yeah I drink a lot left in the morning and headed to another wedding venue to check out really really nice literally like breathtaking um, not really the vibe that we were going for but still really beautiful yeah when we went there I was like hungover we hadn't eaten yet the lady she's like walking us through the the grounds and like showing us places like you know we go back to our office to talk about the packages and pricing and she's given us like brownies and coffee and water and i'm like i like barely eat the brownie because i feel so nauseous and i was com just a little out of it during that meeting because i felt so unwell and yeah came back home ate napped didn't do anything Ugh. Um, ordered some bubble tea and I actually cut Salim's hair. Got the command strips from Amazon because I want to hang that wreath above there. I think it would look nice. Salim's favorite movie. We got our bubs. Got it from Gongcha. Ate a little bit of uh, leftover Korean food. It just, it just it was good. I just still feel very nauseous because I still feel hungover. <laughs> usually it's the other way around. I know, usually it's Celine that's hungover, but yesterday. Well, I had a full bottle of wine by myself. I finished the bottle. You finished the bottle? By yourself? I finished the bottle. Sponsor me. Guess what's the bottle? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Plus. Another half of another bottle. <laughs> so I had one and a half bottles of wine yesterday. Oh, and then I threw up. I tried to lie down. You know when you're so drunk and you want to lie down, but lying down just makes it worse. And as soon as I was lying down, because we were sleeping on like these floor mats. So when I put my head down, I'm feeling nauseous. They're playing music downstairs and the bass is like booming. And then my head is like shaking from the music because it's so loud and I'm like, oh, I have to throw up. Damn. Smooth. Real smooth. Her glasses are so tiny. They're like this. <laughs> <laughs> They're like this tiny. She's like, I'm Sarah Milas. I run the gossip <laughs> column. <laughs> oh my God, this scene is so funny. Let's go back. Hey, it's all right here. Just how she fell was so funny. 